Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. Of course, we have another package here. They just keep coming. Um, oh, there's a bunch of decks in here. The first one is, ooh, Cosmic Dancer Oracle. All right, let's see what this looks like. That's from the last deck. All righty, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I get all excited and I open it up and I didn't read the package or anything. We should read the package. All right. So this says, um, Cosmic Dancer Oracle. Um, it's by Sedona Soulfire and Tess Whitehurst. And this is a Blue Angel um, publication. Oh, I'm supposed to read the back. Sorry, sorry. Oh, see, I got y'all excited and I was going to open it up. No, no, no. <laughs> sorry. All right, 44 cards and 148 page guidebook. All is one, all is divine, and everything dances. Dance has always been integral to the human experience. Principles of the cosmic dance are present in celebration, ritual, storytelling, philosophy, and so much more. Now the wisdom, connection, and inspiration that arise through sacred movement have found their way to you through the captivating artwork and empowering teachings of this dynamic oracle. Engage with the dance of life. Animate your soul and partner with the undulating cadence of the world around you. Activate the cards to bring mindfulness and loving awareness to your entire body and ask for insight into situations, challenges, relationships, or for general guidance. Each card message includes a simple exercise to help you harmonize with the healing, grace, and beauty of the cosmic dance. This is illustrated by Eleanor, Eleanor Eaton. Okay. All right, now we can open the box. Ooh, it's a good box. I know it's already too big. It's too big. I'd rather have like a ridiculously thick little book than to have like that much space around a box. It just isn't fun. So like I'll have to use like another Oracle deck and see if it fits. Like, will it fit in this one? No. I'm gonna search around for an Oracle deck. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> All right, so cardstock. I mean, it's a good cardstock. Um, sometimes I like a deck that like the cards like slip. Do you know what I mean? A little bit more because then they. Um, but it's brand new, right? Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Okay. So this looks like Ariel. <laughs> she's a water. She's a water bear. Her hair looks like Ariel to me, though. Um, let's bring it in. Let's see. Do we have too much light in here? I think we might have too much light. Oh yeah, it's all right. No, I think we should do that. All right. So it says clear the vessel. Um, dump out the water, huh? <laughs> Cry? <laughs> clear the vessel, dumping out the water. I'm thinking if we're the vessel, then I guess we need to cry or pee. Um, but let's see. What does clear the vessel mean? I want to know. I just have to know right away. I'm pretty sure it means you got to go pee. <laughs> Somebody has to go pee. All right. You are a conduit of universal wisdom and truth, a living bridge between the realms of seen and unseen, known and unknown, human and divine. You have been called to be an emissary of love and a torchbearer of truth. You have the natural ability to transmit high vibratory energy that brings healing and wholeness to the world. To best serve, in this holy mission, you must keep your channel clear and your vessel clean. To do so regularly, purify your energy by releasing and clearing all forms of toxins, physical, emotional, and spiritual. When you release everything that clogs or clutters your mind, body, spirit, and environment, you will become like a fountain of light through which divine brilliance and awakened truth will ceaselessly and abundantly flow. Take a moment to assess your self-care practices. Ensure that you are creating space for the highest and purest possible possible vibrations. Your physical body is a channel for your spirit. Care for it meticulously by eating wholesome foods, drinking plenty of water, exercising and getting a good night's sleep. Attend to your more subtle body or attend to your more 
uh, subtle bodies, spiritual and emotional, through daily meditation and spending regular time in nature. Follow your intuition to discern when the time is right for additional purification practices such as salt baths, energy healing, yoga, deep breathing, exercises, and dry skin brushing. Above all, purify your mind. Toxic thoughts, limiting beliefs, and other negative mental patterns prohibit and delay your true purpose and ideal expression. Take a moment now to honestly assess the stories you are telling yourself about who you are, what you deserve, and how you should or shouldn't be. Question negative thoughts and stories that don't serve you and then design new ones that empower you instead of tear you down. Notice how you speak to yourself. Do you judge yourself frequently or say unkind things to or about yourself? These are simply habits and you have the ability and the authority to release these now. First set a clear intention to do so, then shift your inner monologue whenever you notice it has veered toward harshness and self-criticism. You are the thinker of your thoughts, so choose to think ones that nourish your soul. Instantly enliven, cleanse, and balance your energy field with this purifying movement. Stand with your feet a little further than shoulder width apart, toes pointing out at 45 degrees. Bend your knees softly and hold your upper arms parallel to the floor with your forearms bent upward perpendicular to the floor. Oh, I wish they had a picture of that. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I'm going to have to listen to that back just to try and figure it out. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, so you bend your knees softly and hold your upper arms parallel to the floor with your forearms bent upward. Okay, I think that's kind of like this, like that. Okay, that's really helpful, I'm sure. My arm right there on the camera, my bad, sorry. <laughs> um, but upward perpendicular to the floor. Uh, touch your index and thumb tips together, fingers pointing inward. Begin breath of fire. Breathe in and out quickly, only through your nose, all the way down to your diaphragm as if you are panting like a dog. Continue this rhythmic breathing pattern as you begin rotating your entire torso, arms, and head moving left and right at a steady rapid pace. Continue for one to two minutes. Commit to caring for yourself. Develop the habit of regularly cleansing yourself of negative and stuck energies. Then ask the universe to support you in firmly firmly establishing these new self-loving patterns. This will bring significant benefits to the situation at hand and all aspects of your life. Okay. That is really, really cool. Like that is like, this is like a card I, I could, um, it asks good real questions, right? It like, um, I, I like that big long thing. I would probably do one card a day reading with this book, um, just to kind of like, give myself a question. Give me something to think about. Do you know what I'm saying? Clear my vessel. Um, this dance <laughs> thing that they want me to do. Like I am not, I don't know, physical, I guess. So I want to, I'm going to read that a little bit more. It doesn't seem like it's too, um, too terrible. Um, but I definitely want to learn what breath of fire is. I am going to bet that there is a YouTube video that says, teaches you how to do breath of fire <laughs> um, and, and breathing only through your nose because um, that's a whole breathing techniques are a whole other way of cleansing your body that I hadn't even thought of um, so in any case that's a good book okay <laughs> I I already like I like the deck like regardless of the pictures I'm like I'm not too fond of Ariel's hair right here um, but the symbolism is there um, all this book has is definitions for each and every one of the cards. Um, whew, this, I like this already. Okay. Um, but yeah, she's a water bearer. I would say Virgo, <laughs> right? I would relate this maybe to the star card. Um, but, uh, definitely, uh, yeah, she's bathing. She's dumping out anything or clearing away anything that is is blocking her from, um, you know, spirit, you know, Ooh. all right. We're just going to look at the cards now. So that was number one, number two, let's go in a little bit. Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right. So we'll go to surrender and trust is number two.
three, honor the process. Four, retreat and recharge. I definitely get like a Four of Swords vibe from this. Take the lead. It's number five. These are pretty cards. <sighs> Geometric shapes. These are going to someday become part of my knowledge. <laughs> I can't wait to learn more about geometric shapes. Um, number six, honestly assess. So taking in the layers of the world, the universe. Um, that's a, that's cool. It's this person's own aura kind of thing. Seven, celebrate and growth and breakthroughs. That looks fun. That's awesome. I like this deck. This deck makes me feel happy. Eight, practice daily. I mean, that's align your chakras. hundred <laughs> percent. Um, and then the more geometry stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I am, um, She's almost in a hangman's pose. Um, or that's probably some other yoga pose. I have no idea it is, but that's... Um, oh, these are beautiful pictures. Number nine is Offer. Ten, Be Fluid. Eleven, find your motivation. A hundred percent, I love this deck. <laughs> Twelve, choreograph. I'm like, in another life, I was a dancer. I know it. I know I was. Improvise. That's this life. I'm an improviser in this life. Oh my gosh, I do love this deck. Fourteen, honor the cycles. Fifteen, give birth. 16, come back to center. 17, strength and expand. Oh, sorry, stretch and expand. <laughs> stretch and expand. Okay, 17. 18, be a channel. 19, make mistakes. 20, honor the lineage. 21, devote. I think this might be my new favorite deck. 22, commit. 23, be present. 24, give and receive. 25, be authentic. 26, sparkle and shine. 27, adorn the temple. 28, communicate with spirit. 29, flow with divine timing. 30, be ecstatic. 31, tap into primal power. 32, create sacred space. 33, fine tune. 34, feel. 
35, summon the rain. 36, play. 37, consult your body's wisdom. 38, collaborate. 39, slow down. 40, look in the mirror. 40 does makes you look in the mirror <laughs> I'm like yep that's what 40 feels like the age 40 <laughs> look in the mirror um, Wow okay uh, 41 notice the pattern 42 be magnetized 43 consciously complete and 44, master the dance. This is pretty awesome. I'll bet the, the book describes all different types of dance moves. I mean, it is a dance oracle. Let's see. I'm just looking up, um, oops, number 44. Okay, so it's basically to come to Nataraha pose. You balance on your right foot and sweep your lifted leg across the midline of your body. And honest to God, I would just look these up online because I'm just not that in tune. I'm not enough in tune with my body to go, oh, I know exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> um, but this is definitely something that I will look at daily and attempt to move my body in such a way. Um, but yeah, 44 moves, that's a dance, right? <laughs> you could do a happy dance behind these cards. I love this deck. Let me know what you like. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I like the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. She's pretty, and I'll definitely use her. I wish the box was smaller. That's the only criticism I have. Um, the cards are great. Um, you know, I'm kind of one to, oh, this is kind of hard to shuffle right here. They're really big, but I can. It's doable. So, but an oracle card should be hard. Or sometimes they are supposed to be hard to shuffle. You know what I mean? There's fewer of them. I don't know. All right. Yes, here we go. Cosmic Dancer Oracle. Boop, boop, boop. Um, All right. Yeah. If you liked this video, please let me know. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day.